called Made to Order. Mr. Harrison, please. Pray with you, please. Dear God, we thank you for the city of St. John. We pray for those in leadership in this community. We ask that you give those here in attendance the wisdom to make decisions for the betterment of the St. John community. Help the discussion between the council members and the others in, in attendance here to be direct and yet kind. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any additions to the agenda? I do. I've added on the audit report and resolution 768. Are there any additional? I'd like to request the two names that session under a uh, swimming pool manager for possible hire. So moved. So moved. Opposed? Motion carries. Do we have any citizens comments? This evening? Consent agenda. Approved minutes for regular meeting of 0303 2015. Approve appropriation ordinance 03 12 2015 in the amount of $2,000. Approve appropriation ordinance 03 17 2015 in the amount of $87,214.13. And firm proclamation. Is there any discussion? So moved. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 5 0. I do not see our chief of police, so, John. Um, I think first on my part is our audit report. Hi there. First of all, I want to say congratulations to the St. John Tigers. I think that's an awesome accomplishment. Three state titles. I don't think many schools can say that, so great job. Um, if you would look at the bound report, I'm going to go over that first. That's our actual audited financial statements. And if you want to turn to page 1 and 2, and I'm actually going to show you where the opinion is found on page 2. It's about the third paragraph down. It says, Opinion on Regulatory Basis of Accounting. In our opinion, the financial statement referred to above presents fairly, in all material respects, the aggregate cash and unencumbered cash balance of the City of St. John as of December 31st, 2014, and the aggregate receipts and expenditures for the year then ended with the reporting provisions of the Kansas Municipal Audit and Accounting Guide. And basically, we are issuing our financial statements on a statutory basis, which is different than GAAP, but you always do a GAAP waiver every year to allow this form of presentation. And most of our municipalities, or smaller municipalities, use this form of presentation, so you shouldn't feel like you're doing something different than the rest of the people. If you turn to page four, and I might say that we are giving what we call an unqualified opinion on the financial statements. Um, that's the highest form of opinion we can give on a set of financial statements. Page four is actually a summary statement of receipts, expenditures, and then unencumbered cash. It lists all of your funds, shows your beginning unencumbered cash balance, shows any canceled encumbrances, adds your receipts, subtracts your expenditures to come up with your ending unencumbered cash balances. <coughs> the difference between unencumbered cash and just your regular cash balances <coughs> are any outstanding accounts payable and encumbrances at year end. So we, we ended the year in unencumbered cash with $2,390,758. Three, this is up about 247000 over last year. Our actual, un our actual cash balance, however, is down about $644,063, but really the difference between the two years is there are encumbrances. We had quite a bit the previous year in our encumbrance over a million dollars, and this year we only have like $170,000. So you were still able to increase your overall cash balance, which is good. When I looked at your reserve funds in 2014, We've managed to increase those by about 149,000 as well. I showed about a million sixteen thousand in total reserve funds. Those are in your utility, your water, I mean your uh, in, in equipment reserve funds, and your capital improvement funds. Um, the size of this city, I think that's remarkable that we're able to put that money away for um, special projects and things that come unexpected, unexpectedly. So. 
I think the city's done a great job of, of putting some monies away for the future years. The next several pages, pages five through are our footnotes. And I would like you to turn to page 13 of the footnotes. The footnotes just give us some more information about um, the city's financial statements. Um, I wanted to point out on page 13 our note or our debt balances at the end of the year. We have two general obligation bonds and then of course the KDHE loan and then a couple of capital leases. Um, we ended the year with a million two sixty in debt. We paid interest of forty nine thousand. Um, most of the debt is going to be retired in the next couple of years and you'll just have your KDHE loan. Again, that with the combination of being able to put money away, you don't have that much in debt, is, is a good mark for the city again, that you're, you're, you're doing well. The next page, on page 14, just shows in five-year increments, the first five years and then in five-year increments after that, what your debt and interest payments are going to be. Over the next, if you want to turn to page 15, this is a summary of expenditures, actual and budget. We show all the budgeted funds on this page and we show their certified budget amount and then the actual expenditures and then the far right hand column shows a variance over and under. Everything was um, under budget, some of them coming right at budget. So you did a good job of watching your expenditures and making sure you were compliant with the state budget. Um, I had no budget violations or cash violations to note, so the city did a good job with that. The next several pages, 16 through the end of the report, are just additional financial statements that give a little more detail on each fund. They kind of give a breakdown on the revenues and types of revenues and then the expenditures and total them. So I'm not going to really go into too much detail there unless somebody has some specific questions. Any questions on the financial statements themselves? We also issue two separate letters, and they're the stapled letters that were in your report. The first one is what we call our management letter, and it would be on the top there, Mark Management Letter. We have to note um, that the city has a significant deficiency, and the reason we have to note that is because the size of the city's accounting personnel do not allow adequate segregation of duties. And so we have to note that as a significant deficiency. Um, that's where the council comes into play because we like to have oversight from the council, reviewing of the expenditures, the accounts receivable, those types of things. You're, you're they're the third set of eyes looking at the information and making sure there can't be overrides of controls within the city's personnel. So um, we do have to cite that because um, because of that reason, it's not uncommon for a city your size. A lot of our cities. And school districts have this, this type of significant deficiency. But I do want to stress the importance of the board and councils when, when they are faced with this kind of problem. You need to be cognizant of the expenditures and watching, make sure, you know, the controls are in place and working properly. The next letter is what we call our governance letter. Um, we go through a lot of procedures when we're out here doing the audit and we make recommendations. Um, the city has done a great job over all the years we've worked here in really taking heart to our recommendations and making changes when we do make those suggestions. And so we really only have two um, recommendations this year because, like I said, they do a really good job of cleaning up anything that we've recommended. The first one was on property and equipment. If you want to turn, I think it's like the second page of the last paragraph. Um, the current property and equipment tracking system could be improved by adding the cost, date purchased, and serial number of each asset. 
By having uniform data on all equipment of the city for all departments, this will create a more accurate and complete property and equipment listing. This will enhance safeguarding of assets so that all department heads will know what property and equipment they are responsible for and what department it's located in. The city currently maintains a listing of assets for insurance purposes that includes the description, quantity, and the location. Uh, in other words, we're just saying to kind of maybe try to beef that up a little and add a few more things to it. And we actually have <clears throat> several of the departments have completed that, but so we're still working on a couple of departments. So. Okay. And then the last one is on the manual ledgers. Um, and this is kind of their checks and balances, but I wonder, um, they've been at this for a long time. I think it's good for when you introduce a new system um, to have kind of a double set of checks and balances. But they do do a lot of manual ledgers, too, to kind of make sure that what's in their computer system agrees. And so we would just recommend that they review these and eliminate any duplicate items to increase efficiency in their daily revenue procedures. Um, the city keeps a record of all receipts in the computer software as well as a manual ledger book. The city is also completing the accounts receivable reconciliation manually. We recommend this be moved into Excel and completed monthly. Um, again, just as an efficiency type, um, I, I think if they feel it's needed, maybe, I, you know, they just need to kind of review these and see, you know, are we doing this just because we've always done it this way or do we truly need this, this manual set of, of books? Any questions? You've already discussed that with Jonah? I believe so. Yeah. Daniel. What Daniel probably did. <laughs> We actually asked them to review the manual parts um, to, see, to make sure before we eliminated them that it wasn't something that we needed to have that we weren't realizing. So we're still, we're, we're weaning off of those. So. What was the total of your uh, services? You know, I don't know. I haven't billed it yet. <laughs> it's, it's whatever the contract amount. Um, I don't know offhand. I didn't even I look at that. I think it's the same as what it was last year. Okay. That was a three-year. Okay. Yeah, it was a three-year contract. So whatever the services were in there. And you just need the mayor's signature on this? I think I need both of yours. Okay. And one for us or two for you? One for you and one for me. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, the resolution 768 was um, on the table. It wasn't in your packet, otherwise I would have just put it on the consent agenda. It's just for the lease of the vehicles that um, Jeff is purchasing. You do not if everybody's read it and they want to. The only thing I would be in doubt of is having the trucks in here. I don't know. Making sure they're all perfect. I don't know. What do you think, Bob? 
Yeah. Doesn't matter. Really. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know. What he's saying is that he'd like to wait until the trucks have been delivered yeah. before we pass the resolution. Exactly. Well, I, I this is about the lease itself. Right. So they've given us the money and, you know, I don't know that... It's just not the way I would do it. I mean, I would have my truck and have it... I would see it before I purchased it, I guess. But well, they have to take the check with them. Right. To, before they can bring this, you know, so they have to have the lease done to take the check with them. Okay, and it's through... Sterling. So move. Is that a second? <laughs> okay. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries four one. I might ask you a question. If it was all said and done and we find some major thing wrong with that truck, where are we standing? You'll have to ask Jeff that. I don't know. Yeah, he would have to look it over surely down there. I would he, recommend yeah. that he... And then he doesn't buy it. If he only brings one home, then you pay back the lease mm -hmm. immediately. Right. But I think they need to be looked over before you give them a check. Mm -hmm. No matter too. what. Yeah. I've never bought a truck I ain't looked at in my life. I will make sure that he knows that, that he goes through them when he goes down there to pick them up. Anything else on that? Okay, the next thing I have is I'd like to have an executive session for attorney-client privilege, possible litigation. I would think 10 minutes would be plenty. Okay. So move. Oh, to, to include the council, mayor, attorney, and myself. Second. So we are to reconvene at 7.25. Thank you. Okay. Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Uh, the only thing I would report is that we have had some applications for the property that's for sale on um, East 3rd, and so probably next meeting we'll have a meeting of the land bank to review those applications. Other than that, we're hard at work on Jubilee. All right. No. Okay, um, we had advertised uh, for contract mowing bids and we re did not receive any. So if you would like, we can run it for another week and maybe you know, people that are interested have another chance or maybe, I mean, we need to try and get somebody. So if you're okay with that, we'll right. close it for the next council meeting. Is it the... Uh would it be a conflict of interest if I would bid it? No, oh, sealed bid. Oh, yeah, no, it's a sealed bid. He opened them up to me. Mm -hmm. how, I don't care. How I many think. How many yards are you talking about, man? Oh, it, it tremendously varies from at the beginning of the season, and then, you know, it does slow up when it gets dry and, and hot and everything. I don't know. I really have to look. You know, there might be... 15 or so maybe, <clears throat> times a time. Is it just mowing or is it? You have to mow, trim, and you know, if your tree limbs fall down for storm, you know, you need to be responsible for getting it picked up so you can mow it again. So, uh, so it's mowing it and trimming. I'll give it some thought if nobody run it another week. And then yeah, we'll, we'll close it again for next council meeting. We'll advertise and go, okay. Thank you. Uh, next item is swimming pool manager. 
and I'd like to request a two-minute executive session uh, for possible hire to myself, council mayor, and John, and the attorney. I would think five minutes would be fine. Well, I ask him, so I don't care. I mean, that's that's fine. Yeah, five, five. five. So five minutes. minutes. Second. Second. All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Five zero. Repeat. This coming season at forty five hundred dollars for the season. season. Second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries. Five zero. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the other item I had was uh, uh, citywide cleanup is coming, and uh, it will be. Uh, March 30th through April 3rd. Uh, the county will have the uh, landfill open on the, the 4th, but uh, one of the biggest changes from previous years is that uh, we will not be picking up, and this is from the county, uh, mattresses or box springs. You can take them out to the county yourself, but they do not want them out there by the truckload as we've done in the past. They've had issues with uh, the process out there and damaging equipment. So we will not be picking up mattresses or box springs. Uh, we have some in the paper and they uh, have them up here at the office as far as what we will and won't pick up. Uh, most importantly is to not have all the uh, piles jammed all together. And I've already seen instances where it's already happening, so we will not be picking those items up or stopping those. Places. So I need to be separated, and what we will and won't pick up. So, uh, if you have any questions, then call the city office. And do we have some of these over at Dillon's? I think. Do I see some over there? It all happened while I was gone. Okay. So there, I I really no, there are some over there. Okay. I thought I saw some over there. I, I thought they were ours. So anyway, so anyway, so that's it. That's all. Okay. I got. What's the deal on the street? On the line. On the water line. Oh, we're, we're, I've got help and some weather, and we're working on it. And uh, Well, how long has that thing been open? Oh, the hole? The hole down there was started when we did the bore. Yeah. Which was? I think back in October is when we first started on that. So, And I explained to the council at the time, those holes will be the last things filled in because we have to do an abandonment after we get everybody switched over. I haven't had, I've been down help since back in January. I found, we finally got a guy hired, and we've been working on it. Last week we worked on it, worked on it today, and it's. And I tried to explain to the council, and I, and I know maybe it, it's maybe hard to grasp, but we're not a contractor where we can go in and that's the only thing we do. We have things come up every day that make well, the decision. That, make the decision. We've got four guys. No, we don't have four guys. Well, there's usually two or three guys standing down there, and one in the hole, and two pickups down there. Well, we have. Well, a, why can't we split guys up? I guess I'm missing what it's all entailing here. Okay. Well, for one thing, we have to have one guy on the top. Two guys. The fewest people that can work down there at a time is two guys, and the rest of them are helping out, handing stuff down, or doing digging, or whatever. But I'm just saying it may. It's kind of like you go around the block and come back, and everybody will be working. You know, I don't know how to explain it to you other than, than, than that's the way it is. But. It's just a it's a long slow process. Any any time I'm uh, right now I'm the I'm the responsible party and if I get called away to do a, a billing permit or do anything else, we're not going to be getting much done. So I I'm sorry it's taken so long. I did didn't think it'd take this long, but we have had a long long cold winter and you know you can't do too much. And like I say, I've been down help since you know in January or whenever Matt left. So. Well, how long do you think it'll take to get it done I, in the whole field? I cannot. I mean, are we looking at another 60 days or 120 days? You, you, if, you can, we if you can tell me what I'm going to have come in the door tomorrow on complaints or another problem, I can, I'll answer that for you, Troy. Well, my, my deal is them holes have been open for this long. From a liability standpoint, if we can't get it done, let's get somebody hired and get it done. I was going to ask that. Do you think, is there anybody? Because you think honestly, we, it's way too damn long to get, to come in and help us for a week or not. 
you want to spend the money. The reason we were doing it is to save money, and I've tried to explain why it's taking so long. If that's if you want to spend more money and get it done quicker, then then so be it. But right. I mean, it's like two guys from Stafford. When you get when you're ready to start doing switching them over, get, I don't know. We can hire your crew. <laughs> Good. Probably in conflict of interest. My point is, for 69 days out, let's, let's just hire somebody to get it done. Before some kid screws around on the weekend, drives off in the hole or something. And we have bigger issues than what we have now. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. We're, we're to the point where we're ready. I mean, we've got you know, the blocking in and everything. We're, that's, I've got the locates called in. You know, we're going to do Mary Beaverly's first. She's been, been the longest. So. I've got another water project tomorrow. We're going to work on over here, Ag 360. So things like that come up rather than I'm just saying to him, we're not going to do it until we get the water project done. We're going to do it so they can proceed with their work. That's the kind of things we deal with. So. Okay, and is there a contractor somewhere in the area that could come in and finish what you're doing there? I'm just saying Kevin is perfectly, if you want to get more than one crew going on that, that's the thing to do. Hire, hire somebody with a back, and they're going to have to know what they're, they're doing because they can sure do a lot more damage than... Right. than You're going to bore them all? No, well, we don't have all that, a lot of them that's just close on the west side, we can just, you know, that'll be a complete tear out and go to, that's the, what I mean. to the meter. The opposite side. On the opposite side, we'll have, you know, some that are going to be bored, so... Uh, some of, some of them already have new services. Oh, yeah. in. Some of them you just take it off and move it over two feet, don't you? Well, it sounds easy, but right. yeah. So, like Mary's, I think, is already new. All right. So we'll have to you know, dig I'll up do there. That. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you want to, I can negotiate. I mean, I don't know if it's conflict of interest. Negotiate with Kevin. We can work out if he gives us an hour and a thing and a job. Do we have an issue with doing that? That just don't smell right. No offense to Kevin, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean... Okay. Unless it was still busy. Yeah, so yeah I, would, I would have to bid an hourly rate. Two guys in the back go. Sure. Be because, you know, just as an example, it's been going on since October, and then all of a sudden the city council says, hurry it up, and then the next thing is, let's hire Kevin's crew. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was thinking another city crew from another town if they didn't have no. any big projects going. I, you know, they're probably in the same shape we are, so... Yeah, we all the time go help Troy at Stafford or Maxville. You know, he gets one started. He says, "I need a man or I need a pump." But you can hire me April eighth. <laughs> I will no longer be council member after April seventh. Well, I'd just like to see him get done. But we got to hire so somebody. Do well, I have to come to the second meeting in April? The 14th, when you switch. You don't have to, but you certainly can. Oh. Okay. And we'll see you off to If we Marshall. have a quorum, we need to have a quorum to open the meeting. So. Right. Well, so if you want to give me permission to hire some help, just tell me to do it other than Kevin, and I'll proceed. I just can't believe it's taking this long, so. Well. I mean, I. Uh, the only reason it has is because he has been shorthanded. I'm not sure saying that. But and how, how many days, and Troy? Oh, how many days this winter has it been? The windshield been in the teens and below. I mean, count them up. No Seriously. Idea. Well, and I, I get out grade too. And every day, it's a nice day. It's two days of meter reading. Like I said, let's just hire somebody and yep. get it done and get it over with. I, mean, I agree. Point. I agree. Hire Everybody somebody. that lives by it, is tired of it. Everybody that drives by it, I'm tired of hearing about it. Everybody's complaining about it. Let's just get it tired and get it fixed. Okay, I'll make so a motion that they'll find some help to get that, get them holes, get them boring done, and use his discretion to do those. Put it on the table. Is there any further discussion? Okay, so I'll make a motion that the motion is to complete the project mm -hmm. yes. at his discretion. But I think we ought to, ought to try to use local people if we can. <coughs> 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 
Stadt. Is there a max dollar? Not at this point, I don't think. Is what, it something what? the electric department can help you with? We've only got one backup. I mean, that's that's. Yeah, three good. three guys in your backhoe. And, yeah, we had another stuff. another backhoe and another couple of guys to help. You know, Do we have any place we might be able to rent a backhoe? Oh, yeah. They want to rent back because it's identical to theirs. Whatever standard drift price is. That, is that okay there? After April. No. Are you going to wait that long? No. I'd say as long as it's standard, it's it's not like yeah. there's nothing. Yeah, if you pay me less than rental price going to Great Bend. Like we said, you've got your discretion. Your taxpayers did dollars paying for it too. You know, you, you, you're testing me today. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Making your own advice. Is, is that something yeah. that I can talk with the big league? Somebody's going to do this. Oh, my God, I have them. Yeah, that would be fine. Okay, okay there's a motion on the table um, to complete the project. At Mel's discretion. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 5-0. Okay. Yes, I'll have to Jeff is not here this evening. John? I don't have anything. Okay. Um, new business, KMEA Board of Directors, Director 1. Yeah, every year. We either have Director 1 or Director 2 in the alternate. Last year we had the Director 2 in the alternate, which is Mel and Kevin. So we need to have, you guys need to determine who your Director 1 will be. I say Sherry directs second. No, I think Troy. Day. I'm coming up for election, it might be your own deal. Right. You're not up, so that'd be the perfect choice. That's right. I second it. So Troy. Motion and a second for Sherry to be director one. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Opposed? Motion carries 4 1. Wonder who the one was. Mm. Mail. Huh? The other one is male, right? <laughs> no, I was who voted nay? 4 1. So, Sherry, I have some information sheet there. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, old business. Um, skating rink floor update. Mel said that Abby's will be coming by the next time they're in town and they'll measure everything out and give us an estimate on what we're looking at to replace it. Um, the street department on call policy. Ruben's not here this evening, but he was going to draft a policy and bring it to council for their approval. And he did come in and say that he did not have that completed yet. Okay. So. All right. Um, and that's it. I make a motion to move. Second that motion. Okay. All right. Motion carries. Hello.